Hey guys. Right now, I think that this gold price is off the day. Now is the time to get excited. Before I turn 65, I'm planning on making that my biggest season ever. Make some real money. Oh, I'm never surprised by your plans anymore. So, well, let's say we just spent $5 million worth on equipment, but we're gonna come back here with three times more iron than we're left with. So I wouldn't see a big problem around 9,000 ounces. They think it is well within our reach. Don't count your chickens till they have though, do Well, half of them are hatched already, so it'd be pretty simple. Yeah. Yeah, piece of cake. We're gonna have to hit the ground running. We are definitely gonna go flat out for a while. Day shift, night shift? Oh, yeah. 24 hours a day. No. Here and the hill? Oh, yeah. So let's just go out and let's go do it. For nearly 40 years, Tony snatched up gold-rich ground in the Yukon. Now, with gold prices holding at historic highs, he's looking for a monster payday. To get his $16 million payout, Tony's reopening his Indian River operation, where he hopes to bank 5,000 ounces. 40 miles north, he's counting on his Paradise Hill claims to deliver the other 4,000 ounces of gold. Right now in the Yukon, there's a lot of people looking for ground. At least we're fortunate that we have plenty of it. But there's one massive problem. We still don't have a water license in the Indian River. As long as we get it in the next three, four weeks, that's good. Let's concentrate on the hill and uh, run as much material as we can and get as much gold out of here as we can. Mike, 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 D. Gabby. Yo, hey, get six trucks, get a 950, D11, have them follow you so nobody gets lost and let's go to the nugget cut, then we'll start stripping down there, okay? Let's get going. In order to get 9,000 ounces, I mean, we need more equipment and bigger. Okay, three rock trucks behind the excavator, three rock trucks behind the nose. Let's go, go, go. Leading the charge to push the first dirt of the season at Paradise Hill, a brand new massive 850 horsepower D11 dozer that can shift 45 yards of dirt in one push, and a 100-ton 950 excavator, the biggest in the Yukon. Okay, back it up, Mike. Keep her going, Mike. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, let's go for it. Rock, rock, do you copy? Rock, rock, do you copy? Let's give it a yeah. If we're gonna do 9,000 ounces, we better open up some ground. Okay. There's not get cut. That'd be a good, quick cut with some decent pay underneath it. Tony's first target on the hill, an eight-acre cut he discovered 30 years ago, filled with big gold nuggets. We need to move a absolute crap ton of dirt this year. We're gonna reach Tony's goal. Gold is high right now, so strike while the iron is hot. That thing pushes a nice load of dirt, you know? I might have to get one more, huh? When Tony discovered the prime piece of land, he didn't have big enough equipment to get down to the pay layer 80 feet below the surface. Even last year, it would have taken at least three weeks to get to pay. But with his new arsenal, Tony wants it done in just five days. It definitely is nice to have a 950, three and a half scoops to a rock truck, then it's full. Please, when I had the kids on the dozer and the excavators, I don't have to be here. 
with all these years working together, you kind of think together too, you know? You know, it's, it's crunch time. We have to get this dirt moved. Holy the stuff is solid. I'm just wasting time here. I cannot get through this. This is just not working. Tony, do you copy? Tony, do you copy? Go ahead. This wall is completely solid. We're at a standstill. Can you please come and talk to me? Stay there. I'll be right back. Looks like there's no rock trucks running. Cost serious money. Cannot have all the trucks and everybody sitting there and having a good time and not moving any dirt. That's not how it works. What do you got, Ruby? This wall is completely frozen. It's too frozen, huh? Yeah, she's solid. Yeah, I can see that. We'll put that B11 in it, and then we'll just rip the out. To rip through the frozen section, Tony plans to take his brand new $2.7 million D11 dozer to the top of the pay dirt cliff. He'll then go right to the edge of the 40 foot drop and use the 10 ton ripper shank to break up the frozen layer so the excavator can get to the pay dirt beneath. The D11 has arrived. in, oh, sometimes five, sometimes 10 feet thick. Right now, this one is in my way. Get high enough, sink the ripper in, pull the whole cliff down. The sooner we get the sluicing, the happier everybody will be. Instead of spending money, you're going to be making some money. We have to force our way through something, and then that's just what you're going to have to do. This way, this way, this way. Tony maneuvers the 120-ton machine right to the very cusp of the 40-foot drop. Tear the f out. Ready to roll? busts through the permafrost. Ruby removes the pay dirt beneath. I ripped that knob out, get the rock trucks back in there, and get rid of this dirt. See what happens when I do it myself. Tony has pay dirt ready to run a full month earlier than last year. A vital head start on his mammoth 9,000 ounce gold. You think that kid will be as goofy as the mother? Huh? I can say You're a chicken, Kevin. You wanna say that again? No. <laughs>